Welcome into this special edition of the Jason Tawney Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Jason Tawney, head coach of the baseball team. And coach, uh, let's take it back to 1999 for a second. Um, just talk about, uh, as a 25-year-old, uh, getting taking a chance on a program and a program taking a chance on you and the things that you have experienced here. Yeah, actually, in, in 99, I started as an assistant coach. Um, to even, even date myself more, I was actually 22 when I started as an assistant. Um, but back when we were Village Elite College, yeah. uh, starting a baseball program, I was here during our first official uh, season. Uh, no field, mm-hmm. uh, no practice area. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we used the tennis courts on the Greenspring campus. That was our, our, main, our main practice facility. Didn't have a batting cage. Yeah. And uh, I remember a couple years ago when, um, uh, when, when we had an alumni game, Justin Amig came back, one of the early – early guys and uh we had just had our tennis courts resurfaced and and added two more tennis courts mm-hmm. and he goes we didn't he said he said you guys have a field now he's like man even the tennis courts are nicer than when <laughs> i practiced here you know so it's it, there's been a lot that's gone on in the uh the last uh, 17 years and you've been a huge part of a lot of what has happened on campus not just in baseball but the communication between athletics and admissions and you know the, the student body doing st- study hours has been a huge help in the success of your program not on the baseball field but academically as well yeah we we've um we've always excelled on the uh, off the field mm-hmm. our team gpa this past year was a 339 and, and you know the philosophy i brought to this program when i started as the head coach no two was was um accountability mm-hmm. and accountability in the classroom as well and you know uh there's a lot of people that 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 thank me for some of the things we did, which were sometimes harsh conversations. Uh, but, you know, the department has recently also adopted our philosophy, which was which, which forcing our guys to do study hall hours. Mm-hmm. And now the department's taken it over. And I think uh, statistically, I haven't seen it, but I, I'm sure our department's GPA has increased dramatically with that. Um, you know, but that's something we had practiced for a long time. And, you know, this year was our, our 10th consecutive year over a 3-0 as a team. You know, having 40-ish guys mm-hmm. on our roster – I'm always happy with that. <laughs> right. And a, a lo- broad spectrum of majors, too. Yeah. Um, myself included, when I came into your program, I was a medical technology student, and you let me have that opportunity to play for you. And uh, imagine a lot of people in that scenario are super thankful for the yeah. chance you took. You know, it's, it's, sometimes it's challenging. You know, we get nursing students, which mm-hmm. is probably the most challenging yeah. major that we work with. Um, you know, it's very difficult, especially going to your last two years of nursing to also play a sport. Um, so we, we've had to work with guys. Mm-hmm. I, I know recently, uh, one of the comments I got recently too was, uh, Alec Romanowski, who was a biology major, terrific student. Um, you know, he would travel on days when he was pitching, but if we played on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, and he wasn't pitching, mm-hmm. we'd leave him at home, right. our top pitcher. But he understood, and, mm-hmm. and it was, he wasn't part of the travel squad because it was about work, about mm-hmm. classwork. Uh, so we have that all the time. Uh, you know, we, our goal here has always been to, pr- to produce productive young men in society. We want to see people succeed, not just on the field, but off the field. Mm-hmm. And I take a lot of pride in the fact that, uh, you know, the, the guys that have been thankful for what we've done are, are the guys that actually struggled a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, whether it was school or whatnot. And now they're successful in life. Right. And those are the ones I, uh, you know, I'm very proud of. Uh- you have so much to be proud of. If uh, you guys haven't figured it out yet, uh, <laughs> Coach Jason Tawney is going to be retiring this season. Um, and the stats that we look at, you know, almost 700 games, almost 300 career wins, a lot of positive things to look back on and uh, be proud of yourself in your own career. Uh, what is it that stands out to you the most? You know, it's it's uh, as we've gone through this process recently, and I announced to my team and my coaches and, mm-hmm. and my colleagues. I think the best comment I've ever gotten from a colleague, and this wasn't recent, was um, when I we were talking about full time coaches and mm-hmm. part time coaches, and I had said I was a part time coach. And they looked at me and they were, you, "You're not full time," <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, "No, I have a full time job outside mm-hmm. of outside of school and so on and so forth." That's the biggest compliment I ever get from anyone is uh, I never wanted our program to be seen as a part-time program. Mm-hmm. And I think we accomplished that. Um, you know, things I'm proud of, you know, I, I think back to uh, over the last week or so as I've uh, talked to many alumni, many parents, just the, uh, you know, sometimes the impact you have with people that mm-hmm. you, 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 you sometimes take for granted. Mm-hmm. Um, and you don't necessarily realize some of the impacts you have. 
Um, you know, and I was talking to one of our, uh, one of our guys um, who I suspended for academics. And I, I laugh about it because I know what he's doing now. And I suspended him for academics, and he, he had to sit out a whole season for us. Mm-hmm. And um, he comes back to me now and says it was the best thing we ever did for him. And trust me, that was a hard conversation. Oh, I don't bet. like having that conversation. No. But it was the best thing we ever did for him because it got him straight in what he needed to do. And it's, it's something that's very important to me, um, as I've often said, we're going to have some guys that will play pro ball. It mm-hmm. happens. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's not what our goal is. Right. It's, it's, like I said earlier, about productive young men, and, and, and we've done everything we can to try to create that. Our program starts with respect, respect for everything. Uh, we've never had issues with uh, you know, bus drivers or, mm-hmm. or anything like that. Our guys are always respectful, and it, it starts from the top down, and, and I demand that out of right. them. Um, and you know that. You were in my program, <laughs> so you know the type of stuff I'm talking about. And I used to, I used to joke with the team, my favorite saying is, uh, how do we leave a dugout? Mm-hmm. And uh, visiting dugout. And I, you could probably repeat the answer, you know, cl- cleaner than we found it. Yep, absolutely. You know, we, we pick up after ourselves. And you know what? Even if it's not our trash that's in there, we still pick it up. Mm-hmm. It's the right thing to do. Right. And in the position that I have now, that extenuates through my <laughs> career. So that's, that's a lesson that will stay at Stevenson University slash Villa Julie. You talk about the impacts that you may not have known that you were going to have on the young men that Villa Julie and Stevenson University produced. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have been one of those young men. I know there's countless, almost probably a thousand others I get, <laughs> that – that's you, a lot. I don't know if yeah, it's a thousand. I don't, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you've had a, a reason for it, to be at Stevenson University and to be the part of the proud alumni um, that you've been able to produce. And the alumni group that you've produced is very camaraderie. Yeah. You know, everybody knows each other. Oh, you played at Villa Julio? Oh, yeah, I played. You know, <laughs> those things happen um, a lot. What do, what do you want to say to some of the guys and uh, staff members that you've had? had an impact on here yeah you know in terms of um you know my former players there's uh, i think we have 190 that have graduated in the program mm-hmm. um I, I have no idea how many more people had impacts on after that but i know yeah. those 190 right. i'm pretty comfortable with um but you know i some of the things i'd like to say is just simply you know i i uh and i've, I've done many of these face to face with with brett adams our athletic director uh tim campbell our, our vice president um Unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to have this face-to-face conversation with Dr. Manning mm-hmm. uh, because of because of his um, uh, stepping down earlier this year. Um, but uh, but you know, for them to take a chance on a, on a 25-year-old coach in a, in a startup program on a part-time basis, you know, not knowing how that was what was going to transpire to looking forward to now in 2017, and, and I'm actually the uh, the oldest tenured coach on mm-hmm. campus. Yeah. You know, it's it's kind of funny, uh, but but you know, people like that that have been very helpful. There's so many people I can name, and um, whether it was former coaches, current coaches, players, uh, the facilities department, the Green Spring campus. Uh, I know those guys aren't going to get much love, but but those guys helping me out with mm-hmm. the field uh, over there, especially when uh, when I didn't have someone helping me, like a GA. Um, you know, some of those challenges we've gone through, we've. You know, I, I would sit here. I can't sit here and tell you that we've been, you know, 100 percent support from everybody from day one. That has not been the case. But, but generally speaking, there's always been an effort uh, mm-hmm. with Stevenson Athletics, Villa Julia Athletics, uh, to continue to improve, and that's why we have 27 sports now. I think, um, you know, so so the administration has been very supportive in that sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably what I'm what I'm most excited about, as I told my team uh, when I was when I was uh, telling them and. And I, I'm smiling because I can remember the tears uh, from me <laughs> specifically. As I told them, there, there's tears of joy and there's tears of sadness. And the tears mm-hmm. of sadness are the fact that, obviously, it won't be me going forward. Right. Um, the tears of joy are um, our program's in a great spot. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's time for our program to have a full-time coach. Mm-hmm. Our guys deserve it. The players deserve it. The school is ready for it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm excited about what that future will bring um, and as I told the guys, when we're celebrating a MAC championship on on uh, People's Bank Stadium Field next year, I'll be out there with them. Yeah. I'll be back for Senior Day. I'm not going anywhere. That's why it's key that I'm I'm retiring. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not uh, I'm not resigning. Uh, so I'm not being forced out or anything like that. It's 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 retiring on my terms and uh, doing what I think is is right for the program at this point. Right. Well, Coach, on behalf of all of the players and. Uh, my parents that you've impacted too, you know, all the pairs of parents that, that you've 
been able to bring to yeah. Stevenson. Thank you for everything that you've done for the university, for the baseball program, and everything here. Yeah, I appreciate it. I can tell you that uh, um, the one hundred percent positive comments from every single person mm -hmm. that I've come across over the last uh, really ten days or so. Yeah. So you're welcome. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> He's Jason Tawney. This has been a special edition of the Jason Tawney Show.